AMD has launched its new Ryzen 5000 series CPUs and is touting them as the fastest processors available for PC gaming, drawing a clear line in the sand in the ongoing battle with Intel for market share. The latest chips feature a new architecture, Zen 3, designed specifically for low latency performance in gaming. They are drop-in compatible with 500 series AM4 socket motherboards like B550 and X570, and with a BIOS update, 400 series motherboards like B450, and use the same chipset as XT series processors. Best of all, the performance gains appear substantial, both over XT as well as against Intel Comet Lake CPUs. We'll take a look at all of this in detail, but first, let's run down the specs and vital information about the four new Ryzen CPUs that become available on Newegg on November 5th. At the top of the line is the Ryzen 9 5950X, a 16-core, 32-thread chip with a 3.4 GHz base clock speed that boosts up to 4.9 GHz. Suggested retail price? $799. This is a beast of a processor with powers far beyond what typical users will need and a price to match. Next, what AMD calls the mainstream processor, Ryzen 9 5900X, a 12-core, 24-thread processor with a base frequency of 3.7 GHz that overclocks up to 4.8 GHz. The MSRP on this model is $549, which puts it at the same price tier as Intel's i9-10900K. Two value-focused processors round out the stack. Retailing at $449 is the Ryzen 7 5800X, an 8-core, 16-thread chip with a base clock of 3.8 GHz with a boost up to 4.7 GHz. For $299, Ryzen 5 5600X gives you 6 cores and 12 threads, and performs at a base clock of 3.7 GHz with a max boost of 4.6 GHz. The clocks and cores closely resemble what we saw with the XT series released earlier this year. That is because the 5000s use the same 7 nanometer process, only these are engineered with a different layout. AMD's new Zen 3 architecture makes the L3 cache more accessible to each processor core on the chip. This design reduces latency in single-threaded applications like gaming. Zen 3's architecture tweak yields a 19% improvement to instructions per cycle, or IPC. What does this mean? IPC is a performance metric that counts how much useful work a processor gets done every time it clocks. Product specs tell us how fast a CPU clocks. It's the number measured in gigahertz. A CPU that operates at 4 GHz cycles at 4 million times every second. Think about what happens when every clock cycle processes more instructions. A lot more work, meaning users potentially experience performance gains. Another cool thing is, these chips are able to get more work done using the same energy draw as XT CPUs. Less energy means less heat. The 5000 series offers a 24% improvement in efficiency over the XT series, which means you get improved performance without the heat that typically comes with it. Now, IPC numbers typically aren't front and center on product specs, and that's because they don't always translate into improved performance where you want it. Performance benchmarks tend to be more useful to consumers, so let's check out the specifications that matter to how gamers experience content, frames per second, or frame rate. AMD benchmarked Ryzen 9 5900X in 40 popular gaming titles, playing at a 1080p resolution. It's not by accident that AMD tested its new CPUs in many games that lean on the CPU for the bulk of their performance. Their tests revealed a 26% overall increase in frame rates over the 3900 XT. 5900X registered big time gains in older titles like League of Legends and CSGO at 50% and 46% respectively. In other games, it showed more modest improvements, like in Battlefield 5 and Total War, coming in at plus 6 and plus 5 percent. Head-to-head -head against Intel's Comet Lake Core i9-10900K CPU, the Ryzen 9 5900X posted an 11 percent improvement in FPS playing Ashes of the Singularity, and 5 percent in Shadow of the Tomb Raider and Total War Three Kingdoms. And we are starting to see independent benchmarks confirming AMD's initial press assertions. On October 23rd, the lower-cost Ryzen 5 5600X smashed the record for single-threaded performance on the widely used Passmark test, 
unseating the i9-10900K with a score of 3,495, which puts the AMD CPU about 10% above Intel in this particular measurement of performance for several hundred dollars less than the competition. We'll start to see more independent numbers as soon as the CPUs are out in the wild, but this is a number to watch, since AMD has long lagged behind Intel on single-thread performance tasks. In our new egg lab, we wanted to see how well the 5900X performed with an NVIDIA RTX 3080 GPU, since there's a good chance that particular combination becomes a favorite of gamers heading into 2021. First, we fired up Wolfenstein Youngblood and used the included benchmarking tool. With this tool, we saw an average of about 400 frames per second via the benchmark on ultra graphic settings. We ran the same benchmark for a similar system using Intel's i9-10900K CPU, which is similarly priced to the new 5900X. 900X, and found the AMD system clocked in at around 8% higher frames per second on average. For a more challenging test, we ran both CPUs with the 3080 GPUs up against Microsoft Flight Simulator on ultra graphic settings at 1080p resolution. For this test, the Intel i9-10900K came out ahead, with an average of 61 frames per second, while the AMD 5900X registered an average of 52. This is an extremely demanding game that is still being operated optimized across different hardware, and it'll be interesting to see benchmarks from a wider variety of hardware configurations once these new AMD CPUs get into the hands of average PC gamers. We should also mention that the latest Ryzen is not just a playtime chip. AMD is bolstering its reputation as the go-to CPU for users that want their systems to work hard and play hard. Their internal benchmarking compared the 5900X against the 3900X and saw 5% lift in video editing on Adobe Premiere Pro, up 27% in CAD performance using SolidWorks 2019, a 9% improvement in GCC compile time, and a 12% boost in ray tracing in V-Ray 4.10. Since the 3900X was already a popular choice for content creators, these gains show that AMD hasn't sacrificed on the creative productivity side as it worked to close the gaming gap. From the looks of it, the new Ryzen CPUs are another incredible leap for AMD, and the pricing suggests that AMD has shed its reputation as the low-cost Intel alternative. It makes sense. AMD has been winning over gamers with a steady string of x86 innovations, and has rightfully earned recognition as a premium brand among PC enthusiasts. With Intel's Rocket Lake still a few months away, performance-minded PC builders are likely to be thinking AMD heading into 2021. Click the links in the description below to check out the new Ryzen 5000 series CPUs, as well as the full family of AMD processors available on Newegg. We'll also have more benchmarking numbers on newegg.com insider.